Hi, it's Lori, and I'm here today with a book rescue haul. So I don't buy a lot of new books. Um, part of it's because we've always lived on one income, and part of it's because I'm cheap, and part of it's because I like to rescue books. So we recently went on a little trip to visit my family, um, and since we have to travel a long way, we pass through civilization on the way and civilization has thrift stores and I really love to go to thrift stores and look at the book section. So on our way up, we stopped by the ARC thrift store um, and I got my first set of books there. I found ARC's book prices to be surprisingly high. I don't remember them being that expensive before. Um, so I did not get a ton of books and I think I spent just under $15 at ARC on books. So I'm going to start with my nonfiction books. The first one I purchased was The Road Character by David Brooks. I bought this thinking that my husband would really like it and apparently that is true because he was listening to this on Audible at the same time that I purchased this book. This is pretty much a constant thing that I have with rescuing books. I will buy stuff that I think my husband will like and either I have already bought it for him, which happens quite a bit, <laughs> or he's already listened to it on audiobook because he does work, um, he does a lot of driving in his job, so he listens to a lot of audiobooks while he works. So I will go ahead and read this one because honestly I'm much more likely to get through a paper copy than an audiobook. As much as I love audiobooks, I just, I read faster than I listen, so um, that's the first one. The other nonfiction book that I got at ARC was Bible Basics for Catholics, A New Picture of Salvation History um, by John Bergsma. I know nothing about John Bergsma or this book. The foreword is by Scott Hahn. Um, I just kind of felt like I should take this book home. It just called to me. Lots of books called to me though. So, But this one made the cut when I was kind of... Uh, lessening the number of books to keep it to a reasonable dollar amount at the thrift store. The rest of the books I picked up at ARC uh, kind of fall under the umbrella of classics. So I got a copy of the Divine Comedy Hell. We have Purgatorio somewhere in our house, so apparently I just need to go find a copy of Heaven somewhere. So I don't know. Penguin Classics. It was a dollar. I like classics next book is because I've been on a Russian literature kick again. I've been reading The Brothers Karamazov, and I have read this before in college, but it's been a while since college, so I thought I'd like to reread it. And that's Crime and Punishment. Uh, my husband saw this and said he should probably read it, but not right now. It is, you know, Dostoevsky, so it's a little bit on the long side, but I remember really enjoying it. And, you know, when you find beautiful classics at a thrift store, it's hard to say no. This one was $3, which seems like a lot for a paperback book at a uh, thrift store. So this book I bought because I felt like I should get F. Scott Fitzgerald another try. I hated The Great Gatsby. It goes down in history as the book that I had to read in school that I disliked the most. Um, there was just nothing I liked about it. And part of me feels like I should reread it because I'm older and maybe I would appreciate it more now, but there's just a whole lot of me that does not want to read that book. So I found two different copies of Tender is the Night. Must have been assigned reading at the college in the town I was passing through, guessing for some class. Um, and I don't know a whole lot about it. Kind of looks like a tragic romance sort of thing. Yeah, tragic romance. Not a big romance fan. Don't really think I like F. Scott Fitzgerald. My husband thinks I'm not going to like this based on what he remembers about it. Um, but the two different copies, one was more expensive and this one was $1.99, so I went with the cheaper copy. There was no discernible difference between them, so I think they may have just changed their pricing strategy between when the two books came in. So this one's not jumping to the front of my queue or anything, but... At some point, since I have it in the house, maybe I will get around to giving F. Scott Fitzgerald another chance. 
the final book that I got at ARC is uh, a book that I just absolutely adore. I have the Sun Kindle, and I think I've only read it once, but it's one that I've been meaning to reread uh, for a long time, a couple of years anyway. I probably read it two or three years ago, um, and that is Quo Vadis by Heinrich Seinkiewicz. I have no idea. Polish is really not my thing. I think he's probably Polish. Anyway, so Quo Vadis. Quo Vadis is set during the time of Nero. Um, and Quo Vadis means where are you going? Um, and so it's all about early Christianity. And um, so there's a lot of kind of heartbreak in here, uh, but it's just so beautifully written um, and so compelling of a read. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful copy. Um, and this one was $4, which is like way more than I normally would spend on a used book that I didn't need. I mean, I'll spend that much if I have to buy a school book for one of the girls um, used, but that's normally a li little more rich than I would usually go for at a thrift store. But because I know I love this book, I kind of like having paper copies of books around. So, Quo Vadis. So the next set of books were books that my mother had on hand that she was getting rid of. Um, she is part of a book club, um, so I often get her ex-book club books. One of these, she wasn't really sure where it came from, but they live in a small house, so they try to keep their book uh, population down, and I am usually willing to take things off of her hands. There were a couple I decided not to take because they just didn't seem like my thing, but these were the ones I thought I might give a try. So first up, I've got Morality for Beautiful Girls by Alexander McCall Smith. This is part of the number one ladies detective agency. I haven't quite figured out if you need to read these in order or anything like that. I'm hoping not, because I know this isn't the first one. Um, I've never read one of these. I sometimes enjoy mysteries and detective novels. Not all the time. Not sure what I'll think of this, but, you know, free book. So I was willing to take it. This next one, I believe, was a book club book for her, and that's A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest Gaines. Um, and I really don't know much about it other than there's um, a young black man who is uh, a, there at a liquor store shootout uh, where three men are killed, um, and he's the only survivor and he ends up being uh, convicted of murder and sentenced to death. Um, so I don't know, death penalty type. This is one that I don't know that I would have grabbed myself, uh, but it looks like it's a good novel. So I may read it or it may just sit on my shelf for a really long time. It's really hard to tell. This next book is probably the book I'm most excited to read of the ones from my mom. It is called A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. And um, it's kind of a naturey book. My mom is a very naturey person. Uh, she was a high school biology teacher professionally, and she just loves nature and animals. So, um, I am not sure what I will think of this book, but both my mom and dad said that this was a really good book and that Bill Bryson is a very good author, so I am looking forward to giving him a try. The last of the freebie books from my mom is called The Good Daughter, A Memoir of My Mother's Hidden Life by Jasmine Darznick. Um, again, this one I don't know a whole lot about. I kind of looked it up on Goodreads, and I think a couple of my Goodreads friends have read it and enjoyed it and seemed to have pretty good ratings. Um, and the description seemed like something I might enjoy, but it's not one that's going to the top of my list. The last chunk of books I picked up at Goodwill on our way home, um, 
I was much happier with the prices at Goodwill. Their book prices were standardized, um, so I think it was two forty nine for hardcover books and one forty nine for paperback books and ninety nine cents for kid books. And I didn't buy any kids books this time, but they also had a certain color tag on sale, so I got several books with that tag color. So I think I spent about ten dollars at Goodwill on all these books. So the first one is Cassell's French and English Dictionary. Um, I am not really great at languages. I took Spanish in high school. I tried to learn Italian before we went to Italy. I pretty much was completely useless in Italy though. Um, but being a homeschooler, I have to deal with kids needing to learn foreign languages because of course most colleges want to see two to three years of a foreign language. So Eva thankfully chose Spanish, which I at least have a passing knowledge of and we live in a community with a lot of Spanish speakers, so that works out okay. But Charlotte is bound and determined that she needs to learn French. I know no French. It's going to be a disaster. But when I saw a French to English dictionary, I thought, well, at least Charlotte can use that to work on her French. Next book I got in the nonfiction area or category is Savage Inequalities by Jonathan Kozel. Um, I can't remember which of Jonathan Kozel's books I've read, but he has written quite a few books on education, and I love reading books about education because I have opted out of the educational system. So it's always going to be an interest area for me. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. Again, I'm guessing that perhaps this was somebody's college book because it's all tabbed up, but I'm kind of interested to see what they tabbed up. The next nonfiction book would have been handier had I found it about a month ago. Um, we are participating in a writing co-op this year for school and Eva's class, the high school class that I'm helping to teach, has been writing uh, research papers on uh, social media. So um, they were due on the day after I found this book, but it is called The Digital Divide. Arguments for and against Facebook, Google texting in the age of social, social networking. Um, so I asked Eva if she'd still like to get it, even though we're done with the research paper and she was interested in it. I think my husband will probably also read this as well. I may or may not. It just depends. I have to be in the mood for something like this. The last nonfiction book that I got at Goodwill um, is more of a like memoir. Um, I do enjoy reading memoirs pretty frequently. Uh, I find people fascinating. So this one is Michael Phelps, No Limits. We are a swimming household. We're not super sporty, as you probably could have guessed by our obsession with books. But several years ago, to get my poor homeschooled kids some experience with sports, we joined Summer Swim Team. And we really enjoy the sport of swimming and how it's a very personal sport where it's about doing your best. And so this year, Eva participated in the local high school's um, swim team, girl swim team. So I have a feeling we're going to have several more years of swimming in our future. Um, and I've read a couple different swimmer memoirs, but I haven't want, read one about Michael Phelps. So I decided that I would go ahead and get this one. I have no idea if the girls are interested in reading about Michael Phelps or not. They didn't seem super impressed by this one, but that's okay. Okay. So the next one is comedy, I guess. I, I really don't know where to classify Irma Bombeck, but I have always enjoyed Irma Bombeck because she's hilarious. Um, and I have read pretty much all of her books, but I do not remember reading this one. And it's called, When You Look Like Your Passport Photo, It's Time to Go Home. And that is certainly the truth. So I just thought this would be fun. Um, I don't know if I'll get to it soon or later. This is the sort of book that I wouldn't feel bad at all about taking on a trip and just leaving behind if I didn't have room in my suitcase. So it's possible it may go with us on vacation sometime or I may take it to swim meets or something where I don't want to take anything too valuable. But Irma Bombeck's just funny. The next book is a part of a series. I have uh, read, I think, the first two books of the series but I don't think I have read the third book and this is the fourth book. So I'm just getting it now so that hopefully at some point I can find the third book and fill it in. And that's the um, Ender's Quartet, Ender Quartet that starts with Ender's Game. 
Um, and this one is Children of the Mind. So this is one that's going to sit on my shelf for a while until I find book three. But I kind of figured, you know, I picked these all up at thrift stores. Um, I'm bound to find one eventually. This one was also the yellow was on sale, so it was half price. It's really hard to say no to a half price book. The final two books that I picked up at Goodwill are classics, and I, I kind of have an addiction to rescuing classics. So first we have Metamorphosis by Ovid. Um, I know I should read this. It has to do with mythology. I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, but, you know, Ovid's one of those things that you should have read, I think. This is apparently the first modern translation by an American poet. So hopefully it's very poetic because Ovid is one of those that I think a bad translation would be very terrible. I didn't like look up the translator or anything before I bought it. Um, I'm willing to risk a bad translator a little more when I'm just rescuing books and then if I decide I don't like this I can just pass it on. And then the last book that I got was the Oedipus Plays of Sophocles. So we've got Oedipus, Oedipus the King, Oedipus at Colonus, and Antigone. Um, and I don't think I've ever read Oedipus at Colonus but I had to read Oedipus Rex and Antigone in high school. Um, so I just figured this one is a good school book. I can have this on the shelf. And then sometime when I think we haven't read any, you know, ancient Greek plays, I can just whip this one out and make the girls read it. So that is my book rescue haul from two thrift stores and my mom's house. So um, if you enjoy seeing the random books I pick up in random places, please like this video. Feel free to subscribe to our channel. Um, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.